Okay, so right now, when we visit pages and resources online, we're caching every new dynamic page or resource that we come across that's not already cached. Now, that's okay, but it means at some point that our cache is going to become bloated and be a drain on resources because we're just caching everything that we request. Now, it would be nice to be able to limit our different caches to a specific size so that they could only hold X number of items, for example, 15 or 20. And when that number of items is reached, then we can remove the oldest item and so forth. So if we currently have, for example, 20 items, then add in a new item. So we'd have 21 in total. At that point, we could go through the cache and delete the oldest item. So the cache size would go back down to 20 and it would never be exceeded. So let's try this out in the code. So what I'm going to do then is now make a function to limit the size of our cache. So first of all, let's make this at the top. Do a little comment to say cache size limit function. And then underneath, we'll make a constant and we'll call this function limit cache size. Set it equal to an arrow function. This arrow function is going to take in two arguments, the name and the size. Now, the name is going to be the name of the cache that we want to limit the size of. So we're going to pass that into the function. And that could either be the static cache name or the dynamic cache name. And this is going to be the maximum size that we want our cache to be. So the maximum number of items inside that cache. OK, so let's open up this function now. And inside, what do we want to do? Well, the first thing we want to do is open up whichever cache we pass in. So let's say caches dot open and then the name. Now, this is asynchronous. It returns a promise. So we can tack on dot then. And when this opens, it returns to us the cache that it opens. Now, what we want to do is get the keys of this cache, which are basically these things right here. Or if they're the dynamic ones, it would be the resources for the dynamic cache. So these things right here. So what I'm going to do is say cache dot keys, which is a function to get us those keys. This again is asynchronous. It returns to us a promise. So we tack on dot then and then we take these keys, which is an array. OK, so now we have an array of essentially all the different things inside the cache. Now, what we want to do is check, is that array over this size? Because if it is over this size, then what we want to do is start deleting items from the start of that array, the oldest ones. So then let's do a little if check. I'm going to say if and then keys dot length is going to be over the size, which is whatever we pass in here. Then we want to do something. Now, what do we want to do? We want to delete something from the cache. So we'll say cache dot delete. And then what do we want to delete? The first item in the keys array, the oldest thing. So let's say keys and then zero, which is the first item in that array. So this goes out and it deletes the first item in that array. So the first item from the cache. And then what we're going to do is tack on a dot then method because this returns a promise. It's asynchronous. And in the dot then method, what I'd like to do is then call this function again, because if it's 22 currently that we have in there and we want it to be no more than 20, then we're going to have to delete two items. So we want to recall this function to recheck if the keys dot length is still over the size that we pass in, which could be 20. And if it is, delete another item. OK, so we'll call this again right here. Limit cache size again and we're going to pass in the name again and the size and again the name is just going to be what we first pass in and the size is going to be what we first pass in as well so i hope that makes sense we're basically recalling this function over and over again until this is no longer true so if we get to the point where the length of the keys is not greater than the size then we don't need to call this again and we don't need to continue with this cycle and carry on deleting things from the cache okay so then we have our function the next thing to do is actually call this function when we want to limit the size of the cache now where do we want to do that well i think we should do it down here inside the fetch event whenever we try to put something new into the dynamic cache at that point we want to do a check because if we keep on putting stuff in and not checking then it's going to get bloated and very big so after we put something in we're going to do a check and see if the cache is over a certain size and then if it is we're going to delete items so we'll call this function from here so it's limit cache size 
and what we want to do is pass in the cache name that is dynamic cache name oops spell this correctly and then we want to say what is the maximum number of items we want to be in this cache for now i'm just going to set this to three it's going to be more late but i want to demo this and since we don't have many things inside our dynamic cache i want this number to be small for now so we're saying here every time we reach out and add something new to our dynamic cache we want to then limit the size of our cache, do a check, do we have more than three items in it? If we do, delete the oldest one so it can never get more than three items. That's what we're doing now. Every time we add something to the dynamic cache. So let me save this now. And if we go over to the application, first of all, go to service workers and then go to skip waiting. Make sure you're online and you've not got this offline mode checked. Then what we need to do is go to the homepage. I'm going to check site dynamic and notice we have three items if i now go to the about page which is not inside the cache then it should cache this but it deletes the oldest one so i'm going to go back to the home page and navigate around a little bit and it's staying as three now so that's fine so this is working if i change this to two then save it and go back over here i'm going to go to the service worker skip waiting and update over here. Then I'm gonna to go to the cache. Next, I'm gonna to go to the about page, watch these items, and we can see now we only have this about in here, okay? So, now this is all working. Now, I'm not gonna stick this at two, I'm gonna keep this at about 15. So now I'm saying we can have no more than 15 items in our dynamic cache at any one time. Then it's gonna to start to delete older items. So there we go, my friends. Now we are deleting our older cache items to make sure that our cache never gets too big.